Okay, next and last but not least is uh, Tunga Lagtuya to Kukendu, or otherwise known as Tunga to all of us. She is the founder and director at the Nomadic Nature Conservation in Mongolia, which is an NGO. She serves as the country coordinator for LOSL for Mongolia. Uh, Tunga has extensive professional background experience in science and conservation awareness. She played a major role in creating nomadic nature trunk program for different ecosystems, conservation education. This program has distributed and produced mobile classrooms for rural schools and communities throughout Mongolia. In particular, she developed environmental conservation curriculum based on participatory and game-based lessons, which are specific for ecosystems and endangered species. And in 2019, the trunk program has been implemented for other stakeholders in Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Buryatia, and the Altai Republic, and Mongolia for her, the purpose of conserving the sacred snow leopard. Tunga is also a conservation, Disney conservation hero for work engaging rural mountain communities in conservation ecological education with the Nature Trunk program. So I will turn it over to Tunga and I am going to be sharing the presentation. So let me pull that up. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Tunga. I'm going to present about the Nomadic Nature Trunk program for mountain ecosystem conservation. <clears throat> Nomadic Nature Trunk, Trunk means chest. So, uh, so many Asian countries are respecting one furniture. It is a chest. Uh, the chest always save uh, the very valuable things uh, from an ancient time. They carry the, the most valuable thing in it, then in the carrying out the wild uh, um, movie around. Okay, next slide. Okay, yes, thank you. Sorry, I'm trying to get it on slideshow mode. Um, the mm -hmm. screen sharing is blocking the... Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, Junga, please <clears throat> carry on while I figure this out. <laughs> okay, now. Okay, <clears throat> nomadic nature trunk, about the nomadic nature trunk. It is a mobile and traveling classroom in a box is designed to provide the creative learning environment encouraging total community engagement. This, the, uh, you see the picture in the green box. So we use in the boxes for um, sending, delivering to very remote areas. And it will be, um, it should be at the um, light because there's so many contents in it. So uh, each trunk includes curriculums, uh, activities, materials, such as puppets and posters, maps, animal tracks, sketches, animal costumes, books, and game focused on region specific biodiversity and conservation concerns. So next slide, please. <clears throat> uh, first nomadic nature trunk. The first nomadic nature trunk was launched in Mongolia in 2007, implemented by NNC, Nomadic Nature Conservation, my organization, with the start of funding from WCS and Denver Zoo. And later on, it was expanded to different regions supported by Snow Leopard Conservancy and so many other organizations, international and uh, Mongolian organizations. So this traveling trunk program has been well received in rural Mongolia during the last decade due to a nomadic tradition of traveling information, the physical distance between communities, a deep cultural respect for nature leading to a high level of receptivity for conservation education and also limited resource of schools despite a strong national commitment to education. Importance of the link between local indigenous people's knowledge of conservation and the ecological health of their homeland. So these pictures also uh, uh, her families, uh, they can use the, these lessons traveling and the mobile lessons. Okay, next slide, please.
So, uh, in after implementing the program, it is already more than 10 years. So, we have um, delivered uh, 100, around 110 mobile education trunks uh, to school students, uh, local communities in rural areas. And 2,640 community members have been involved with the conservation education training so far. Currently, 16 local facilitator community organizers are spreading trunk trainings in, in 15 different places, uh, 15 different uh, provinces, actually. <clears throat> And now 225 schools are using our trunk lessons. Uh, there are 39,477 school students have been used trunk lessons. So it is um, uh, the local teachers and students still requesting to have their own trunks year to year. Okay, uh, next. So now I'm going to talk project expanded to our LOSL countries. Uh, LOSL network members have initiated to revive traditional knowledge and cultural practices and collaborated on community education towards mountain ecosystem conservation within the network countries. Um, uh, since actually 2009, uh, 2017, so then it has been funded by Snow Leopard Conservancy. We have been talking uh, our education, um, education awareness for our five countries all the time. So we're talking and talking two years, then it started in 2019 actually. So country partners network were concerned that in remote rural areas, preschool children of the country are not able to go kindergarten and they have limited access to conservation programs for children. So the, uh, the countries in, uh, we have the same problems and sometimes it's some areas uh, small age children couldn't go to school and also they dropped uh, um, some girls couldn't go to the school then <clears throat> we uh, gathered all the um, gaps and uh, decided to start this program and also remove the schools uh, community groups are lack of conservation education programs and materials, short of participatory based teaching methods for mentors. For example, Mongolia is a big country and uh, population that is spreading um, very sparsely. So it's very uh, important to reach uh, those uh, communities in remote areas. That's why we. Uh, we initiated this program over taking the gap and can be reached to remote schools, community groups, and kindergarten children in rural areas. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, a loss of program mission is to cultivate the next generation of conservation minded communities in the snow leopard range countries. So this program objectives to support rural communities, including children by supplementing a, a, a very attractive training materials, new, new teaching methods, and enabling them, them to sustain their nature in a way that conserves the natural resource on which they depend. And second one is to enable mentors to learn both scientific and traditional conservation knowledge about the high mountain ecosystem, including endangered snow leopards through the game-based lessons and authentic experiences with nomadic nature trunk program and gain an understanding of an appreciation for traditional nomadic culture. 
So our program is, um, we focused in the rural uh, communities and rural schools. So we uh, spent a lot of time to um, those in the remote areas. So they really appreciate the program. They're happy to have uh, this uh, activity-based lessons. Children is very happy, you see. They, uh, they smiling all the lesson uh, are the going okay, okay it was now what is unique about this program the program it enables rural communities to use mobile education program in their home places so many people in uh, adults, even children, cannot go to uh, the city or center of provinces and attending the uh, conservation trainings. But now they have, they can use the uh, lessons in their home places, even their uh, home with family members, elders, uh, young babies and school age children they together they can use uh, the lessons so it enables preschool children rural school students to learn about the mountain ecosystem conservation and they and gain skills through participatory and game-based lessons then they have um, is, uh, it, our program it's not only giving providing the knowledge and also we can provide the skills, you know, work together, and also they can kind of skill to um, express their ideas and exchange information. They can learn each other from each other. So uh, they can gain so many skills through this program. Uh, participants uh, gain increased appreciation of an understanding for rural mode of living that is based on conservation of resources and sustained respect for land. Um, to date, programs and new lessons have been developed by NNC in Mongolia for 13 years. We always uh, um, looking how to uh, reach and uh, how to teach uh, this kind of um, um, uh, knowledge to children by easy way. So we are de developing the lessons year to year. Okay, next slide, please. So <clears throat> community field training. So we uh, visited the uh, um, families and uh, local organizations and uh, teachers, uh, school children. So we trained, we trained them uh, uh, conservation, uh, environmental conservation, mainly uh, endangered species. And we also created uh, different curriculums for specific ecosystems. Uh, recently, we um, held, we conducted some trainings in remote areas of Bayahongor. So they are learning so many information about the mountain ecosystem biodiversity, not only the snow leopards, and the plants, and uh, small mammals and predators and balance, how balance the predator and prey species, and um, also uh, the use in the water quality and waste management and animal tracks and so many activities they used. So, okay, next slide, please. So 2019, 
uh, a curriculum for specific country regions with mountain ecosystem conservation as developed by NNC. We talked, uh, we learned, uh, we exchanged information from each other, and we developed the um, curriculum for high mountain ecosystem. So we included the uh, uh, new lessons about that uh, traditional knowledge, uh, traditional uh, conservation knowledge, and uh, um, some um, uh, not only knowledge. Uh, How to call the? We have the so many um, traditional celebration. For example, pray uh, pray mountain, and over, and so many ways to protect the, the land. So we included those lessons in the curriculums. Also, we're trying to include the. Um, the traditional um, knowledge about the motherland, so uh, respecting um, respecting their motherlands, so the people um, recognize uh, remembering uh, their life, uh, childhood with their motherland. So we include those uh, so many different uh, lessons in the curriculum. So then in 19, uh, 2019, we translated all lesson plans from Mongolian language to Russian. So then we sent the Russian copy to Kyrgyzstan, Buryat and Altai separately. They can translate from uh, Russian language to their own language. So then we um, assembled for five countries, um, trunks for five countries. We prepared an Ulan Bator and uh, delivered some of them. For example, we delivered uh, three countries, Mongolian, Altai, and Buryatan trunk delivered. So then we still have uh, two more trunks uh, for um, for Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan due to uh, border close um, the COVID. So next slide. In 2020, we would uh, we would start our trainings for um, country uh, teachers and country coordinators and uh, but the pandemic is um, come up and closed mongolian border and everything is closed so then we uh, track trainings have to go online then we try to uh, train first zoom training for rural teachers then it was uh, successfully and also appreciated by participants. We gathered the uh, Western, uh, we gathered teachers from Hotemek, which province is located uh, far um, from Ulaanbaatar and located in the Western part of Mongolia. And also we gathered some teachers from Eastern part of Mongolia, it's Dormat provinces, same time, uh, we did the trunk trainings. So the uh, teachers um, said it's very useful and understanding and all very interesting and uh, they appreciate it. So that's why we the got the idea uh, we can um, continue, we should continue to our trainings for the, uh, other local countries. So, um, uh, I started the uh, started the video lessons. Okay, uh, yeah, it's uh, same like um, yeah. Please uh, back. Could you back? 
Uh -huh. <clears throat> Sorry. Also, pandemic, yeah, pandemic in, impacted to all people. So, for example, we ordered some uh, trunk contents from America, then stuck it in Buryata. We couldn't get them uh, almost for uh, for one year. So now we so we found the solutions. We um, started the video lessons for participants. So then three weeks ago we. Um, uh, did the, uh, our lessons with TV crew uh, and also it, it still editing way. So, okay. So then we, um, I will um, show some videos after the, um, my presentation. So then after we uh, did the um, trunk training, children sent their impression about animal. They uh, draw and they also write some lyrics. And we have so many children's art after the day um, um, feedback. Thank you. So also, you can ask me questions after showing my videos. Thank you, Tunga. Yes, let me pull up the video really quickly. Okay. Um, Thank you. Wonderful presentation. Okay, let me share a new screen. Okay, can everybody see that okay? Yeah. Okay.
Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, there must be another video, actually. So now I'm explaining some about this video. <clears throat> we included the 25 lessons. We designed the, to create the all lessons based on created by uh, based on game and participatory. So uh, we preferred this video just for this trainings, just very short and kind of um, clip, video clip. So then actually all lessons is different in the whole lessons. The one lesson is spending around uh, at least 20 and 20, uh, 30 minutes. So we prepared these lessons for this training. So also we did some uh, Zoom training for country coordinators. Can you pull it up? Yes, Charlene, do you have this one? I have the Habitat game video. Um, so, Tanka, uh, are you referring to? Nafcha mm, sent you. Did you receive the? Um, the Zoom the training, that is the one that was just shown. That is the one that I received. Oh. Oh, oh really? Okay. We have we do have the longer version. And the of four the... minutes, four minutes video for our last country coordinates training. Zoom training. Hang on one moment. I think maybe while uh, Charlene, you're looking for the video, can I make a quick announcement? Yes, of so, course, uh, Virginia. First, thank you. Yeah, firstly, thank you so much for such a lovely session. So this is just a quick announcement to all the participants. Uh, we have a couple of, you know, pre-workshop um, assignments for the next class. And uh, they're going to be sending it out. The, in, uh, the facilitators for the next two classes are going to be sending it out in the next, um, I mean, today sometimes. So just keep an eye out for that. And be wonderful if you can, you know, to, to have a go at the uh, exercise just before uh, the session uh, next Wednesday. And the the second thing that the instructors wanted was uh, if an, if I anyone from the landscape had access to, uh, you know, the environmental science textbooks or like not the whole textbook, but even like a certain section of the textbook or a syllabus of the textbook, if you could. Um, you know, send us a PDF or a copy or, you know, even photograph of certain sections of the textbook by this Friday. That would be fantastic. So yeah, these are just a couple of announcements. We'll follow up with the email um, to later today. Thank you. Perfect, thank you, Ranjini. I am unable to locate that. Um, I'm not sure we're speaking to the same video. Um, and it doesn't seem to be on the Google Drive for some reason. Uh, Charlene, do you want to share what you have? Um, Tunga, would that be OK to share the Habitat game? Tunga? Do you, um, is it, I, I'm don't, I'm not able to find the uh -huh. uh, country coordinator training. Uh -huh. Okay. So um, maybe I must have, uh, maybe I can try to find it. Okay. I do have a, a video that we wanted to share of Jacques Pool. I think maybe I could, would that be okay, Tunga, if I share yeah, that sure. while we, sure. okay. Sorry, I forgot to share it when we were. I was presenting. just going to ask you, Ashley, I was going to say, if you have four minutes, can you play that video? It's just amazing. Everyone yes. should watch it. Thank you. Perfect. Just a moment. Can everybody see and hear that? Yes. Okay, thank you. Oh, 
Olayla nayındır. Tol büyük, tol olur. Ufa büyük tol aymağında biz çarşap geliyoruz. Bizden burun da bizim babalarımız çarşap gelgen. Bu yerde babalarımız çarşap gelen yerde ağırlı su yalağın, kay verenler bulğun, ıyık canı olğun. Kanda ıyık canı var. O bu ilk canavarlar kayberin, ağıl bir, ayu, bilesin. Yani şimdi ıyık buğularız, buğularız var. Al ıyık buğu bir vakta şunda adam zatı buğumu azayıp atkan da o şu adam zatı saklap kalan. İnanayın balların bizden koz, tabiatımız var, ulu toğuluruz var. Ulu toğuların içinde ıyık canavarız var. Bulaklarımız var. Bizim atavalardan ıyık bulgun bir ulanmışlarına ait bir eğil. Ötkün zamanda çoğu kerçilik mezgilde Kırgızlar'dan Kırgız deyin atın çok kılgısı gelgen düşmanlar kapısından kol saldı. O şolu bakta Kiçineki bala minen kız Tokoyuğa getişip Kayra üyünü kaytıp gelse Büt uru kırılıp bir de türücan kalbay kalat. O şundu kişineki bala minen kız Üyün tappay, gelin tappay Emine kılarım bebe Eylap durganda Müyüzdü bu ne gelip Alardı kuçağını alıp Neyim töküp Neyselerine ne erbin dep Alardı bağıp Alat O şundu Ak kalpak du ala toğı Kümüştö tenir toğı Ortosunda ıssık gölü bar jerge alıp arıp Kırgız'dan tükümünü uğula ağıla dep alarğana saatini aytat. Anda biz bu uğunu saktaş kerek türbayak pa anı korboş kerek sen de. Ola kızım, o sol bir ele, o sol bu genemez bizde ıyık canavaların bağırın saktaşımız kerek. Arkel birs, Kırgız'dar üçün ezelten ıyık canı bar katarısı patalıp Kırgız elinin, Kırgız bağıtırlarının kolduğu uçusu bulup Esep telip gelgen. Ata babalarımız Ağıl bir şey yoktu alsak Anda ala toğı buzu yoktu Bala durganday Nuska kaltırgan. Al bizden toğı olur buzun peyis yaktu Ağıl bir şey mönü de jürete mes be Ağıl bir şey yoktu alsak Anda mönü de jürete Ata anda biz ağıl bir şey Kantep tarbamızı berişterek Kantep saktaş gerek biz anı Oğa kızlarım Al ıyık canavarlarda bir saktap kalışız gerek. Ar kim aklına, alına cıraşa, akça tabu götüp, ilbirsin terisin, milyon doğun, dolar turat degen, jalgan işi nümeyen, kırık çoklu uçu, ançılarda çoklu. Jana uşunda öyle, bu ilgislerde saktap kurgu. Adam zatına tanıtsam. O Cerrahtan özüne sıyınıp özüne dilek kılavız. Ayılanayın bugün Alatoğu yerinde, Kaşiyetçü yerinde, Ak Möngül Alatoğu yerinde, Kıyık canavarlarımızda saktap kalaylık. Oğul kızlarım, Sizlerden geleşeğin ergen olsun. Sizler de olsun tabiatka yakın olup, Tabiat minen birge cürülüşüp, Tabiatka yakın olup, Canavarlarda ayak, neyelim tövüp, Allah'ın minen bir gol gula. O sol tüp bizden kırgız eli biz, ulu el bulgun, ulu cürt bulgun biz. O sol kasiyetçi yoldu arkalat gelgen biz. Ak bata ak bolsun, ak bolsun, yoluna bata kuş bolsun. Amin. Such a beautiful video. <laughs> Sorry, uh, can I add some uh, comments? Uh, Please. This video uh, was prepared by a long time uh, by Dote of Japarku. Her name is Aisha. And uh, now in our country, in Talas region, where lives Japarku, he has many supporters and followers, but I think main of supporter is his family. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, all actors, all actors, it's grandchildren of Japarkul. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you, Kalipa. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Tunga, um, shall we open it up for questions? Uh, yeah. yeah. OK, yes, please. Does anyone have any questions? Nadia. About um, nature trunks? Yes, Justine. I see Nadia's hands up. I can ask after Nadia. Please, yes, Nadia. Oh, uh, hi, Sambano Tongwach. Hi, hello, um, Nadia. <laughs> for a long time I mean also I heard about uh, this nature trunk for a long time and uh, um, first I would like to acknowledge like what a fascinating work you do and uh, it was once uh, I was traveling in western Mongolia and came to one of the communities and Tonga was just visited before me and and uh, I can see how community was so enthusiastic and motivated. And though they were adults and like over uh, 50, 60 years old people, but they were like, oh, we were like a kid. So we were playing games and stuff. And uh, I think uh, like more than a, a kids and adults, everyone enjoys the training, I think. and. Uh, I think, as you said, uh, also you deliver training to the teachers, local teachers. So when you deliver the training to the teachers, do you also provide uh, this training, uh, like a tools and stuff to the teachers or how do you run the training to the local teachers? Well, uh, thank you, Nadia. Yeah, it's really nice to see <laughs> to participate in this training together. So we haven't met for a long time. Yeah, actually, you're right. So um, we started from eastern part of Mongolia, from the steppe area. So then supported by WCS and then also and uh, Snow Leopard Con uh, Conservancy and um, so many donor organizations participated in our trunk implementing. So, and especially in the Western part of Mongolia and high mountain region, Snow Leopard Conservancy, we created the special um, trunks for protected areas first. So then also that time we created the high mountain ecosystem conservation curriculums so we invited all the um, rangers and the uh, park staff invited. So then one, um, they can select themselves the one person to, uh, to responsible to in charge these trunks in their area. So um, um, then as for the school, we provide the trunks to uh, department of Education uh, in the provinces, so they can uh, gather the teachers in the center of the provinces. So then uh, uh, representatives from all the homes, they can participate in the biology and the natural science teachers can. And so then, um, uh, uh, we pro provide trunks, uh, one trunk per two and three sums. They can share the one trunk. So um, also the teachers always request the follow-up trainings because they forgot and they some uh, trained teachers and moved to another places and the new teachers come and then always uh, they uh, want to update uh, the training, um, this uh, trunk trainings. So it's really, um, the, uh, the training is spending two, three days. So then uh, I always say, so you don't need to write down. So they, they, they should be keeping, understanding the, their heart and their um, brain. So they never forgot this. Uh, messages so that's the valuable things it's unique things of the trainings the adults said oh actually uh, we thought this is it 
they thought that they know everything. But actually, we they didn't know they said, or actually we didn't know even teachers say that. So then, but is the while they playing the games, so they got uh, so many new knowledge. That thank you for all you do. So we also prepared then the local trainers. That local trainers can spread the, uh, the translations to their schools and their children. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tunga um, and Nadia, for your question. Does anyone else have any questions? Can I ask one quick question? Sorry, yes, I know Justine. Time, um, so, Bartla, uh, Tunga. You're welcome. <laughs> um, but, and, um, but I just wanted to ask, like, I think, I, and with Nadia, we were looking at during the pandemic, you know, how we could uh, uh, increase our, you know, still spread uh, these uh, great education uh, work to nomadic children, but I think it was really hard, wasn't it, Nadia, during the, the pandemic, because the children didn't come so much to the SOM center. They stayed in their nomadic, you know, in the, with their families, um, and the SOM center teachers found it very hard to, to access them or even know where they were. So I was wondering if Tunga had any experiences or suggestions on how their team were able to deal with this situation um, to continue their work during this uh, this last challenging times. Yeah, thank you, <clears throat> thank you so much for your asking this. So recently, uh, I did one training, one not one training, <laughs> trainings for different places in very remote areas, Bayongaramik. Um, so we invited the people from the different zones. So then the gathered in the um, uh, uh, field, uh, actually mining camp. We gathered the mining camp because in the some center is very risky to gather the people in the center. So then uh, that um, um, mining company support the uh, support the training room and also food free and uh, also uh, some center and uh, government also really happy just together uh, some government and the mining company and our organization together we gathered uh, at most 18 people one groups group by groups so we did uh, the trainings and um, so they said is the trunk program is really the meet the their requests and during the pandemic. So then all the school and um, kindergarten is closed, but as the, the mobile classroom is can use that they can send the trunks to each other. Also the trained people, um, they can teach, they really say that, ah, this is, these lessons we really want and during the pandemic period. And so government people say this now is, uh, um, uh, they are very, um, how to call it, uh, ambitious, ambitious to spread in a uh, um, online, uh, online lessons. But as in the really reality is the uh, infrastructure, they don't have infrastructure, in, uh, internet, and also uh, the smartphone and computer even. So they also really want to involve of the physically, they, together they can do running and talking and playing with the, it's very important, they say. It. <laughs> so I didn't uh, imagine, um, the people, local people saying like that, they really say, ah, it's very valuable things because the, uh, our participants, actually some teachers and doctors, medical doctors and parents involved with the, our training. They say, ah, it's really important, very in a distance education. It can reach the all families and maybe um, 
households in Mongolia, the households in the several families uh, living close to each other, they share information, they can help to each other. So while uh, after they finish in their um, livestock work, so they have time in the evening, mainly in autumn and summertime, they have time. And also even winter, only spring is busy time for herders. So they say that it's really important. Uh, uh, yeah, they pointed out like, Thank you. No, that's that's great. Thank you so much. Great question. Thank you, Justine. And thank you, Tunga. Um, we are at time. So I just wanted to, to wrap up by saying thank you so much to Tunga, to Amagul, Kulipa, Jacarpool, Lubav, uh, Darla, Charlene, and very much to, to everybody for joining today and for the invitation from the Snow Leopard Network team. Um, Maria Asunova was also with us today. She had to nip off, but she's the um, co-director of LOSL and the executive director of the Baikal Buryat Center for Indigenous Cultures. And um, she was very excited to join today. And she wanted me to make sure that we mentioned that um, uh, the exciting news about the whole Land of Snow Leopard Network winning the Disney Conservation Hero Award for 2020. Uh, recognizing local citizens for commitment to wildlife, inspiring communities to take to participate in conservation efforts, really blending science with indigenous science and acknowledging that this is a, a network of over 100 members that act as equal partners and support each other in this way. And um, Anyway, I'm just so honored to work with you all and to be part of this conversation. So thank you again for the opportunity for all of us to participate and share the work and collaborate with you all. And I'll turn it back over to Rangini. Thank you so much, Ashley. And thank you so much to the Land of the Snow Leopard and all the amazing facilitators today. I think all of us learned a lot. And like Justine was saying, it's really inspiring to see this kind of work. And you know, it's inspiring for us to also learn from and hopefully we can take this and start applying it in our own landscapes as well and be more mindful about you know, engaging with uh, indigenous knowledge and acknowledging it in the places where we uh, work. So it was a really, really inspiring talk and very special. So thank you so much for joining us today. We really, uh, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, look forward to the next uh, few sessions in, with the conservation education module, which are coming up. There's two more. So <laughs> all of you, please do come for that as well.